Hi, I'm Mac of Bound for Nowhere, and this is my new home on wheels. Uh, it is a 2019 Toyota Tundra SR5 uh, with Evo Course wheels, KO2 tires. Uh, they're 37, so they are a little bit larger than the original. Um, and then around front here, this is the Addictive Desert Designs Stealth Fighter bumper uh, with integrated Baja Designs uh, light bar and a come up winch. And then we have a fully upgraded Dobinson sus uh, suspension and airbags, leaf screen, like the whole the whole nine to carry our full time weight. We also have a safari snorkel because occasionally we go through water and a lot of dust. And we have uh, the Norweld flatbed tray and we had it painted black just to kind of tie the whole rig together. And we have three locking storage bins. We have two here, one on the front side, on the, on the driver's side, as well as a water tank. These are great, they're locking. In this one we have an air compressor because we have a rear Airb locker. And I'm trying to think if there's anything else back here. We have 10 gallons of spare gas on the back as well as two mounted Max tracks just in the event that we get stuck in the sand. It's happened before and it will happen again. Um, and then we have a Fiamma awning, a ton of exterior lighting. We have two solar panels on the roof made by Overland Solar. So we have about 300, not about, we have 320 watts of solar. And we also carry three surfboards on the roof. I think, that, oh, and this is a four wheel camper, Hawk flatbed. Um, this portion of the rig is our home, our office, and all of the other things. And I think that's it here on the outside. So for work, my husband and I have a mobile graphic design business. Uh, he does motion graphics and I do graphic design and illustration. We also do some freelance photography and writing, um, just on top of all the other stuff. And we have a small like goods line that we sell out of our truck here and it gets shipped with love from wherever we happen to be at the time. Um, but for internet, that's probably one of the biggest questions that we get asked. We just connect to our phones as a hotspot. We also have like a little mobile hotspot that runs off of cell phone signal and we can connect to that. And between those two, we typically don't have much of a problem with internet. I will say on large delivery days when very big files have to be passed back and forth between our clients, which those are all gonna be like video projects. We'll go to either a public library, which people always seem to forget about, but they're great because they're usually these beautiful historic buildings that are preserved in each of the towns or we'll go to a coffee shop. But otherwise we can completely operate as a business out of this space. But to give you a quick tour of our home and office and all of the above. So right here by the side entry, we have a litter box. Sorry, there's a little bit of litter that's been tracked out. We travel with our cat. Her name is Luna. She's 10 years old. And above the litter box is a little spice cabinet. It's got all of our dry food goods, tea, honey, things like that. Um, and in this compartment, we have our battery system. Um, I would open it for you, but there's a lot of stuff on top. So they are two 100 amp hour lithium batteries made by Battleborn, and they are incredibly powerful batteries. Um, and when paired with our two solar panels, power is never an issue for us. In fact, it feels like sometimes we can't use it fast enough. And there's also an inverter in here, which switches on two plugs over here. And the only two things that we actually plug in to a standard wall plug are gonna be our computers. Everything else is run off of USB, um, just about everything else that we have, which I think is really key because USBs, they have a lower draw and they're going to be a little bit more gentle on your power supply. Um, up here is our bed and, uh, and the cat. She lives a very rough life, as you can see. Um, so this is our bed. When the top is down, because the top does just come down in this camper, um, it rests on the top of the bed, but underneath the bed, sorry Luna, um, is all storage, which is amazing. So we keep all of our linens and towels, Owens in my clothes, and all of our work supplies. 
And we still have room under here. It's quite a vast space that we have. Um, and then centered right here uh, is our water supply, which is really great. Keeps that um, weight centered in the vehicle, which is really important. And we also have all of our electrical management very nicely hid under our blanket here. Um, and then we have a furnace. So this is going to be our thermostat and also our water and battery monitors all live here and our hot water heater switch is there. And we got all of our kitchen supplies in this drawer. Uh, we have a sink, flush mounted. Sorry, there's still some dishes in there from this morning. Our two burner cooktop, which runs on propane. Um, so our heater runs on the propane, our cooktop and our hot water heater all run on that propane. So we have 20, sorry, we have 20 gallons of water and six gallons of hot at any given time. Um, so we have just two more kitchen cabinets in our furnace, our refrigerator. This is the medium size refrigerator that you can get in this space. And we decided to go with the medium one so we could keep this drawer down here, which has coffee making supplies and our pot and pan. So we really, we really wanted to have that space still. And the sticky notes are, we're learning Spanish. So we're labeling things in Spanish. So moving along over here, this is our office. And this also can convert into a bed as well as it's a shower. Um, and the grate is down here, the water hookup is here, and the shower curtain hooks into these hooks up here, the water spout goes here, and the whole thing flips under, the shower curtain flips under the grate and you step in, and it's really awesome to have this, so if it's cold outside. And that's our produce basket, which right now is not full of very much produce, it's mostly like liquor and bread. Uh, so this is such a nice space, because of all the things I already mentioned, but it is also storage all the way to the ground. So we have, in the past vehicles that we've had, we had a roof box and all of that gear was able to fit in just one of these seats. And then we have more storage over here as well. And then I made two little bookshelves. We don't carry a ton of books because we have Kindles, which are great for cutting weight and still getting to have your books along for the ride and all of our cord plugs are over there all the usb stuff and then we're back around to the side door so if you're interested in following along with our journey that has already been three years in the making you can find us at bound for nowhere on instagram youtube and the internet so all the internet places we are bound for nowhere